Hello, good afternoon. A man in Austria has confessed to imprisoning his daughter for 24 years and sexually abusing her. The man has apparently admitted to police that he fathered seven children with his daughter, who's now 42. The first pictures have emerged today of the windowless cellar where she was held, along with three of their children, in the basement of the family home in Amstetten, west of Vienna. The man's wife lived upstairs in the rest of the house throughout that time. John Brain reports. For nearly a quarter of a century, this tiny basement was Elisabeth Fritzl's prison. Under its low ceilings in its windowless rooms, she was repeatedly raped by her own father. Here she gave birth to seven children. Three of them never saw daylight. Today, her jailer, Josef Fritzl, has confessed to the police to imprisoning his daughter and sexually abusing her. But what stunned Austria is that for 24 years, the events in this anonymous three-story residence passed unnoticed by the outside world. While their siblings remained in the cellar, three of the children lived relatively normal lives upstairs, even going to school. I think it's horrible. It's just the thought that this is happening down the street from where I live is, is, is shocking. But um, I didn't know the family. It's just been very quiet. I've never seen anyone going in or out. According to Elizabeth, her father began abusing her when she was 11 years old. In August 1984, Josef Fritzl drugged and handcuffed her and forced her into the cellar. In 1988, or possibly 89, her first child, her daughter Kirsten, was born. Six babies followed, though one died. Earlier this month, Kirsten became seriously ill and was taken to hospital. Then, sometime last week, Josef Fritzl decided to release Elisabeth and the other two children. It's further trauma for a nation already undergoing a process of soul-searching following the ordeal of Natasha Kampusch. She escaped from a cellar after being abducted by a paedophile while on her way to school eight years earlier. The authorities, the police have to face the discussion uh, how that could happen twice. How, how nobody uh, saw for 24 years um, that what, what happened in that house and uh, uh, nobody got it. And no one in this, in this beautiful town got it and now they have to face that discussion. But even Josef Fritzl's wife Rosemary claims she wasn't aware that her daughter and three grandchildren were living directly below her. Those children are now in the care of social services as Austria tries to come to terms with a series of revelations that almost defy belief. John Brain, BBC News. And our Europe reporter Bethany Bell is in the town of Amstetten. Bethany, what's being said there about the role of the authorities in all of this? The fact that this woman was missing from the age of 18? Well, certainly I think a lot of Austrians will be asking how it was that that childcare services, that the police uh, didn't pay more attention to this woman who disappeared at the age of 18 and how three children suddenly appeared living upstairs in, uh, in their grandparents' house. Now, a, a lot of, I mean, we're still at very, very early stages of this investigation. The questioning of the chief suspect is still going on, uh, but these questions will be asked and there are a lot of people here wanting to know the answers. And what more are the police saying about this, about where this goes from here? And for example, the involvement or the role uh, of the man's wife who was living upstairs, that sort of thing. They've said very little about that so far. Um, what they've told me just a short time before coming on air is that the questioning of the suspect himself is going on. Uh, that that, they say, will take a long time. They say his, his deeds go back over 20 years, and so it will take them a long time to get to the bottom of what he's done. The police also told me that of the child that is said to have died, the man is said to have confessed to taking the dead body and throwing it into an oven to be burnt. Bethany Bell, thank you, in Austria.